Hello and welcome to the CRM Basics tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning about CRM. So the first thing you need to know is that CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management and it basically allows you to manage your company's interaction with customers, suppliers and sales prospects. The CRM is a key area of click service and it's the most important hub basically of where everything begins. So as you can see here, you've got your search box find. So you can search for a customer by just typing in the customer name, but you can also click on this little man and you can search by postcode and you can search by customer account code and supplier account code. So there are various ways that you can search for a company. So once you've got your company selected, you'll see that you've got the detail screen. Now this screen will show you everything about that company. You'll see here you've got the company name, and there's a little radio buttons here, company and person, and that just means whether they're a company or a domestic customer. Then you've got the account manager detail here, and then you've got the main address, and then you've got the telephone, email, and web address. You've also got what type of customer they are. So we've got three defaults at the moment, customer, supplier, and other. Now if you wanted to, you can create user fields to make other details display within the detail screen. You'll also see the main contact and you'll also see the invoice contact if appropriate. Now what you'll also see is a service level agreement. So you can put a service level agreement for that company. You can create ones that is in another tutorial. So you can see how you can create service level agreements. So it just means any jobs I do for this company is going to apply that service level agreement. So that's the detail screen. Now from the detail screen, you can do many things. You can do things like you can click on the little target on here and say I want to find the address on the map. If you click on that, will it open up Google Maps and you'll be able to see where the brewery group is. You'll also be able to quickly email and quickly go to websites by just clicking on these buttons here, these three dots here. So for example, email, if I click on my three dots, it will bring up my outlook and I'll be able to send an email straight away to that customer. So it's really useful, quick way of sending emails to that customer. So going along the tabs across here, you will see notes in notes you might have generic notes about that company and you'll also see job notes and job notes mean if you put something in here it will apply to the job sheet now that can you can do that from here or you can do it from site notes as well so if we go to the next tab activity will show you everything that you're doing for that company so any quotes that you created for them any sales orders any purchase orders any purchase invoices any job sheets any sales invoice credits, any projects, any contracts, the contract visits, any incidents and inquiries which will bring down to service incidents, tech incidents, sales inquiries and any tech notes. So going across further you've got contacts and this will show you all the contacts that you have for that company and what you can do is you can add to them by just clicking on the new and you can fill in those contact details. At the moment we're showing everyone, so even all the site ones as well, but if you want to, you can just show the main contacts for the main headquarters of that company if you wish to. Going across further, we will see sites. So as you can see, Brewery Group have many different pubs, for example, and you can see all their sites are in here. But down below is also all the equipment they have, so it's a really good indication about what sort of equipment you're maintaining on that particular site. From here, you can also create a job sheet with selected site and equipment if you want to as well. So it's a really good way of creating a job sheet too. You can also create a selected site with the FGAS system if FGAS is something you're using. So going across further, we've got the diary. In here, you'll see any diary items you got for the company, any job sheets that you're currently working on for that company, and any callbacks you have for that company. And you can see here in diary items, you can select what you wish to view. If you go to diary items, you'll be able to see a list of all the diary items you have for that company. Going across further, we have communication history, and this will show you all the calls that you've created, any emails you sent out. So for example, we tried to send an email out just now, and it's telling me an email was created in an external application. It was sent to info at thebrewerygroup.co.uk. So you'll be able to see that and you'll be able to see any callbacks that you're logging. So new call and new callback, which is used if you want to call them back in a week's time, you want a reminder that will pop up 
if you set a new callback for that company and that particular contact. The next tab, Documents, is really important. So this is where you might select a folder that's in your shared drive for that particular company. So you might have a shared folder called the Brewery Group. Um, and it's just an easy way to get to it. So you know it's in click, you can go to Documents, you double click on it, rather than going through, say, Windows Explorer and trying to find it that way. You've also got Financial. And the financial details will give you any financial information about that company. It's also where you can put those companies on hold if they're bad payers. And you'll see that at the top, it puts it in brackets on hold. Um, if they're cash only or if they cease trading. So you can do a number of things here. But what you can also do is you can put in miscellaneous. You can put a description at the top. You can put any description you want. So family discount here, but I might change that to say VIP. So it shows that they're a VIP customer within my database. I can also give them a nice little color for green just to show that they are an important customer. So if you click on here and click on details, you'll see that they're now highlighted in green. So going further, we can go to rates and this will show the rates of that company. So you can see the call charge out rates and the call out rates that you have for that particular company. You can see, for example, you have a normal rate. So £100 for the first hour and 30 minutes and then it's £50 an hour. And it just means that this will apply to any job sheet time items that you create. Now in the cost rate, this is the cost and how much it costs you as a company for when you go and do work for that particular company. Now usually you see the cost rate under the engineer in the staff database. But in this case, we've got it in both. The next tab across is login privileges. And this means that you can allow that customer to go onto a website portal and they'll be able to see the job sheets and service incidents that they might have. Um, you can see that you can do that in Click Remote V4 or V5. Going across further, you have the visual element, and that just shows you what's going on with that particular company. So at the moment, there's two invoices between this date range that we've got going on for that brewery group. Now going across further, we've got qualifications. Now this might be used for your subcontractors. You might want to keep tabs of the qualifications for that subcontractor. Now you just need to add those qualifications. You have to create these qualifications because obviously Click is used in many industries. So you'll have to create the specific qualifications for your industries. To do that, just go and add qualification, click on new qualification, start filling the details of that qualification. And then you can start putting in the reminders, the training and how long it's valid for in this part here. Okay, so can cancel that now. So other things that you can do from here that are really useful, um, you'll see that every customer, if you right click on it, you can create quickly a job sheet, an invoice, a quote, a sales order, a callback, a call, a sales inquiry, a tech incident, a service incident. So you can really create things quite quickly just by right clicking on that customer. And if it's desperate that you need to put them on hold, you can just right click, put them on hold, and it puts that customer on hold as well. You can also see with your suppliers, you'll be able to create purchase orders as well. So you can create many things just by right clicking on here. At the top, you'll also see find site. So you can search by site. So for example, if I put in BS3 and I click go, it will go to that BS3 1TF. And I've got a couple of sites here under there, but I can also just select that site and it will take me right direct to that site. I can double click on the site then and go in and see the information. But what you can also do with Define Site is you'll see you've got a create job sheet on here as well. So it's a really quick way of creating a job sheet. You've also got a more defined search for the customer suppliers as well. Find customer suppliers. So if you only know the email address, you can put the email address in here. If you only know a contact name, you can put the contact name in there and click on search. I'll put, I'll put a name in here. Just click, for example, click on search and that'll find me click limited. And all I need to do is go to customer supplier and it will take me straight there. So you can see it's gone to click limited now. You've also got tools in here. So you, if you create a customer in the CRM just by clicking on new and creating the customer, you can go to post to accounts and you can post it to your account software being Sage or Zero. You've also got an audit history and that'll tell you anything that you've done with that company, any changes that you've made. And you've also got view map, which is again, just a little preview of your visual aspect of that particular company. 
You can also print the company and you can print the customer address list or customer record or a sheet of labels from here as well. And that is it for the CRM basics tutorial. Thanks very much for listening.